फर्स्ट एड एवरीबडी टॉक अबाउट फर्स्ट एड एंड इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस बट द एक्चुअल इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ फर्स्ट एड लाइज वेन एन एक्सीडेंट अकर्स एंड यू डो नॉट हैव एनी मेडिकेशन अराउंड यू यू डोट हैव एनीबडी टू हेल्प यू ड्यूरिंग दिस इमरजेंसी क्राइसिस क्लियर नाउ वॉट आर द इमरजेंसीज एंड वेर ऑल दीज इमरजेंसीज कैन अकर फर्स्ट थिंग वेन यू गो फॉर अ ट्रैक यू डोट हैव एनी मेडिकल टीम अलॉन्ग वो दे यू रिक्वायर फर्स्ट एड इन केस यू हैव एन एक्सीडेंट सेकेंड यू आर राइडिंग अ साइकिल ऑन द रोड और यू ड्राइविंग अ बाइक ऑन द रोड एंड एनी प्रॉब्लम अकर्स ओ दे यू एंड एन एक्सीडेंट टेक्स प्लेस यू मे रिक्वायर फर्स्ट एड ओ देर बाय प्लेइंग अ गेम विथ योर फ्रेंड्स ऑफ सिंपल गेम्स ओ दे यू कैन यू कैन गेट एन एक्सीडेंट ओ दे यू रिक्वायर फर्स्ट एड इन केस ऑफ एक्सीडेंट्स सो बेसिकली फर्स्ट एड इज रिलेटेड टू एनी एक्सीडेंट्स एंड यू रिक्वायर मेडिकल हेल्प सो हाउ कैन वी गेट दिस डन ओ वी आर अब्रॉड सिक्स रीजन्स वे फर्स्ट एड आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड वॉट द ट्रीटमेंट्स कैन बी यूज फॉर दिस कॉमन इंजरीज एंड फर्स्ट एड टिप्स नाउ दिस दिस टॉपिक बेसिकली आई ब्रॉड टू यू फॉर ऑल द क्लासेस दैट इज वॉट इज फर्स्ट एड यू नो मैनी टाइम्स वी गेट अ फ्रेड इफ वेन एनी बडी गेट्स हर्ट एंड यू नो वी रन राउंड एंड राउंड इन ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सिचुएशन एंड सॉल्विंग दैट प्रॉब्लम so here i have brought you six common injuries and its first aid tips kids keep running around and exploring their surroundings making them uh, prone to getting hurt now prone yani ki getting used to getting hurt you know they just run around they slip they fall they get hurt right so first aid for children is essential and can save lives in serious situations now for example even a minor injury also can cause somebody's life so for this first aid is very necessary so here let's talk about uh, the six major uh, tips on getting first aid which can help out people first one cuts and scrapes now if it's a cut a uh, little more care has to be taken but if it's a scrape like the image over here okay uh, how it has to be treated now how you get scrapes right what you have to understand the difference between cuts and scrapes now how you get a scrape scrapes are when you are playing around or running around and you slip and you fall and you get a bruise on your leg like a redness comes on the leg and little bit blood uh, you can see uh, small patches of red blood uh, patches or something that is a scrape a cut is anything where the skin is open out fully and you have a deep wound where you can see excess bleeding if it's a cut you have excess bleeding so you have to take care of that but if it's a scrape like this image then how you have to deal with it i will show it to you what to do right away right now very first thing is you have to arrest the bleeding by applying pressure to a cut of the area now if it's a scrape or a cut what you have to do is you have to press the area with some cloth or something so that it can stop the bleeding see by pressing a wound okay 90% of the uh, bleeding reduces as you are giving pressure to that place and the vessel which ever is cut the wounds which ever open Yeah, that intends to stop the bleeding as you are blocking the blood flow. So that's the very first thing. What you have to do is press the wound tightly so that it can uh, reduce the bleeding or stop the bleeding rather. Very first thing is uh, running your hand under warm water and flowing water. Okay, it has to be flowing water mixed with antiseptic liquid. Now antiseptic liquid you have Dettol, Sa uh, Savlon. these are all antiseptic liquids which can be used in this warm water right and remember the water can be uh, lukewarm not warm matlab not hot lukewarm okay and sanitize the and you have to clean the area out now why clean the area out because when you have fallen down or anything if any germs is there it can get to the wound so by cleaning your hand in this manner you are protecting the area from getting uh, any infection then Uh, the wound has to be uh, clean with warm water as i said mixed with antiseptic liquid sanitize clean the area apply an antiseptic cream cover the wound with a loose bandage very important thing why you have to cover a wound with with a loose bandage is air has to be also flowing in it at the same time uh, no flies or any germs should sit on that wound and of course antiseptic as in case any bacteria or anything is in the wound or got to the wound where you are not able to clean the antiseptic will uh, destroy it and clean it out right 
So in short, you have to understand this uh, by cleaning your wound with antiseptic. And very first thing is using a mixture of antiseptic uh, liquids like Dettol, like I said, or and then after that, uh, use antiseptic cream to cover it. So following up, uh, the child has to go to the hospital for a tetanus as it's an injury created by the ground or anything. So tetanus is very necess necessary. Okay. Now, of course, a tetanus can be given in the last 10 days all of the year. Change the bandage every day until the wound heals. Now, you cannot keep the same bandage right through. The bandage has to be changed on a regular basis so that you are even getting a vision of the wound whether it's healing. In the same time, you are putting fresh medicine. What to do right away? Now, this is for the minor burns. Immediately put the burn under cool running water for approximately 5 minutes by putting your hand under cold water or cool water rather and letting it flow it reduces the burning sensation on the outer surface and it does not allow uh, the skin to get contaminated with the heat and it cools the, the skin down so that the burn reduces so simply just put your hand under running water immediately after the burn so that it reduces the burning sensation and any uh, problem. Now, very important in this uh, minor burns is you should never use ice. They say rub ice. No. Avoid rubbing ice over the affected area as it stops blood uh, circulation and the region affected will not heal. Right? In fact, it will affect the area more. So never use ice when you get a burn as it can cause more trouble. Avoid using any grease or uh, other substances which cover the burn as it traps heat and delays healing. So never use any oily substances or never use ice uh, on your wound as it stops the healing process. What happens? It simply coats the area. So if any heat is trapped inside the skin, it will not escape and that causes the burn to get blisters and other problems. Now following up with this uh, mild burns, is the child will feel lots of pain during this uh, treatment until the burn heals. If the pain is unbearable, uh, the child should be taken or you should go to a doctor immediately to see if any further damage has taken place in the infected area.